I'm a mother badass. Here we go. There's some language in this one. We beeped out all the F words, but we left some stuff in there for you. So we'll leave it up to you, you know, whether or not you want to play with the kids in the car. So let's talk about something. Appearing successful instead of being successful. So many people out there want to flash and they want to appear successful. And by the way, the most successful people I know are successful. Like they are successful. Like Ed Milet owns those three homes. Andy Frisilla owns multiple garages of cars. Owns, not pays payments on them. Owns the cars. I own my buildings. I'm not paying rent. It's easy to stand in front of a building, put a sign up there, and flash. See, if you read my book, Man Up, you know that the first sports car that I bought, the GTR, I was leasing. I dumped $21,000 in it to soup it up. And within a few months, I lost it. But I flashed for a short period of time. I tried to appear successful. Now, I'm all about being successful. I got drawers full of watches. The irony is the wealthier I get, the less I flash. Why do you think that is? It doesn't mean anything. All I care is purpose over pleasure. My friend Wes Watson says purpose over pleasure. If you haven't, by the way, listened to the podcast, the Empire Podcast with uh, me and Wes. Wes was a, uh, a felon who was in prison for 10 years. He just got out two years ago. He got parole. Uh, he's done with parole as of three days ago. Um, I had him speak at my Empire Mastermind. But Wes decided he's going to change his life after 10 years of being in the, in the pen. He's going to come out and serve humanity. Within two years, he's making $200,000 a month. Boom, right? And he goes, I will always choose purpose over pleasure. That's what you got to do. I will always choose the purpose of serving others through their fitness, through their mindset, by helping you level up into the fighter jet that you're supposed to be. See, your families, your parents, they neutered you. You're wondering what happened. Why am I so needy? Why am I, why am I seeking external validation? It's simple. You want other people's approvals because you have yet to figure out how to give yourself validation and approval. I don't need to wear my watches. I don't need to show off my cars. If I've got cars, it's because I enjoy driving my cars, the classic cars, the trucks, and the sports cars. Not because I want to show them off to you. That means nothing to me. There's a difference between posing and actually acquiring wealth. And if you just took that time from posing and, and, and built the wealth that you're supposed to, you would have so much more confidence because as you build the wealth, you realize you're super capable. You build that credibility with yourself. And so for me, as I started to choose purpose over pleasure, I spent less time posing, less time seeking external validation, and more time validating myself. I love how I show up. I love how I show up. If you don't like me, that's okay. I don't have to impress everyone. I don't need your approval. Don't need your validation. But if you're like, you know, I, I actually resonate with this crazy cat. Cool, man. Let's be friends. But I'm not going to do anything special to change my ways like I used to. You shouldn't either. And when you're young, you're like, yeah, but what if I want to connect with this? Listen, if you don't connect with someone for some reason, you're not meant to connect with them. F*** it. Move on. There is no man on a white horse that's going to gallop on over to you and save your day. You are the man or woman on the white horse that's going to save your own day. No one else is going to be your hero. I want them to tell you that. Like, no one tells you that. You think, for some reason, that if I could just make the connection with this guy, if I could just, just end up on their podcast, if I could just get a shout-out from their Instagram, I'll have made it. No, you won't. No one man can do one thing that will give you the outcome that you're looking for. You need to understand that. And the moment you do, you stop seeking everyone's validation and approval because that is a hollow well. There's no water in it. You will die of thirst. And you want to get to the point of self-actualization where you only have one thought. I'm a mother badass. Instructor Steve, the Marine, walks around saying, I am awesome. 
He signs off everything with, you are awesome. Unfortunately, people that read it don't believe it. That's number one. Your thoughts determine your destination. The peak performers control their thoughts and the conversation in their minds. Number two, confidence and credibility trumps all. Confidence and credibility trumps all. Your level of confidence is built by making promises and keeping promises to yourself. Credibility is won by stacking wins. Small little wins. Don't hit the snooze button. Drink 30 ounces of water. Take that shower. Comb your hair. Brush your teeth. Walk with a purpose. Who walks hunched over, dragging their feet? F that. You know what Steve says? He says that his, his, him and his two kids, his daughter is five, the son is eight years old, they fight to go get the mail. It's literally a battle who's going to get to the mailbox first. Every thing must be a competition in your life. If you're in the restroom and I'm in the restroom with you and you're dragging ass, I'm going to push you aside. Do everything with a purpose, guys. You only have so much time. Confidence and credibility. Thing number three, purpose over possessions and pleasure. And I told you about my dog, Cookie. When she has purpose, she's happy. When she doesn't have purpose, she will get depressed, she will get anxious, and she will start digging holes in her life. And you will do the same. Thing number four, self-validation over external validation. Try all you want to impress others, you're never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. It's a moving target. Maybe you need to own 80 cars to impress Andy Frisilla. And you need to have 20 custom-made suits to impress me. And you gotta have really giant quads to impress Ray. Whatever the fuck it is. That's a moving target. You'll never be able to get external validation from everyone and feel fulfilled. Fulfillment comes from self-validation. I like myself, I love myself, I am awesome. And that only happens when you stack the wins, get the credibility and the confidence. That was number four. Number five, you could either appear successful or you could be successful. You know exactly what I'm talking about. All of us are guilty for it. Listen, that's still something that I try and, uh, I got a really beautiful property. I got a one acre property, beautiful home on this property, multi-car garage, pool, stonework, my backyard's like a oasis. Yeah, I want to make some videos back there, and sometimes I do. Yeah, I want to make sure that you can see my pool and you can see the stone carvings and all that shit. I struggle with that, but at the end of the day, it's all about being successful, not appearing successful.